dear. E E E R. Oh dear. So this is a photo that I took um 2015, um, right around the time of my wedding at Algonquin Park where we were married. Um so I'm gonna be using this as a reference photo. This is in the um the description, so feel free to go to this um link and click on this image of this deer. This is what I will be using for both the drawing and then later the canvas. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, this is, we're using our paper in portrait orientation, which means that it's um, tall and not wide. And I gathered a little deer here of um, my children's. This is a doll that my mom made and she's just here for moral support. Um, but we're, I'm going to start as I did with the box on the top, at the top right. And I'm even going to utilize as much of this paper as I can so that, um, so that I can use as much of the canvas as I can. This is just to, um, get started, um, figuring out what it is that, um, that you need. All you need for this is a piece of printer paper and a pencil with an eraser because mistakes uh, can happen and likely will happen. Yes. Um, so I'm starting with this deer, which is kind of like um, a point, has a point to it and then is rounded around both sides. Um, kind of like a pig or there's other animals as well that have this similar ear. Then there's the forehead, the mid section of the top of the head, and then this ear is not symmetrical with the other one, and I love that about it, that it is a little bit um, more rounded at the bottom. This one is kind of more of a tear shape, and this one is more of like a, I don't know what it's called, where it's like an oval with points at the end. Um, and then we have the forehead, which I'm just going to do like um, a thin um, light line for the forehead to kind of figure out where the eyeballs are going to go. And the eyes, their eyes are on the side of their head, so you're not going to get the whole um, straight on eyeball. Um, but they have, their eyes are shaped. I'm going to just go ahead and do a little sketch of it on the side here. Their eyes are shaped kind of um, with a point towards the inside. And then that one, this one, you get more of a um, full um, view of this eyeball on the right side here. And then that kind of goes out to the ear. I'm gonna make this ear a little bit bigger even. What I love about um, having an eraser and still, I still make mistakes and I still, I'm going to end up changing things as I go along. And then though I've been doing this for many years, I've painted many deer, I still don't, um, have it completely down and there's especially no pressure on you to have it done properly the first time. So I'm going to, I've done the eyes, they're um, very dark and what you want to have um, with any live creature, human or animal, is reflective light within the eyeballs and that really makes um, it come to life. So I'm going to draw darkness and, but keep this light, um, a little oval in there that, um, shows that it's alive and it's in the image as well. And then, um, please feel free to use your, your reference photo as a guide as well as my drawings. So... The reflective light in this left eye is a little bit um, 
more centered, whereas on the right side, it's a little bit more towards the top corner. And then the face comes down from this right eye kind of straight, and then it curves towards the mouth and nose. So this line on the left is more of an angle towards the nose. And then I'm going to do the nose, which I have done like a little curve around the left side, a flattish. There's a little curve on the, along the top, and then a curve again along the right side. Um, if you see, it kind of goes to a point in the reference, and there's lots of different um, parts of the nose that are not as visible in this image. That it's the nose has a little bit of a teardrop shape itself the um, nostrils, um, so we'll, we'll paint those kind of in there with, when we get to painting section, but I just want to do a basic outline of um, the shapes of the animal, and then um, when we get into details in the um, painting, um, we can add more um, realistic and this is not going to be an ultra realistic image of a deer, as you can see <laughs> so far from my sketch. It's, um, it's a little bit cartoony, which is my style, which is if you follow me at all, you know that I'm not a realistic painter. So I've got back, gone back up and made this line that goes along the edge of the ear. There will be fur coming out towards the inner of the ear, but I just wanted to include that before I moved away from the face. There's the little mouth. It's very, um, it's almost not even recognizable as a mouth because of the way that it blends in with the chest or the neck, but there is a little line here. So I've made it kind of curve around the edges and connected it to where this nose is. And then I'm going to start the neck from this this line here on the um, the jawline, and then it curves in a little bit and then back out. And I don't know if this paper is going to be tall enough to incorporate this. I may have made it a little smaller. Had I, well, I can I can figure it out. I can fit it all. I think. Um, so as far as the neck goes, it ends kind of right there. Then there's this, um, shoulder kind of, I don't know the anatomy of the, of any animal really, <laughs> but I'm just going to go ahead and call it a shoulder. You'll know what I'm talking about if you look at the reference photo. And then the leg kind of continues down and out. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little bit of grace with this other piece of paper, just in case I come down too far. Um, but in this image, you'll see that the feet are not showing in this, um, and we won't be doing the feet either in, in, our, um, por in our deer portrait. The grass and foliage comes up over the feet. So that, that should be helpful for any of you that are kind of afraid of, um, doing hands or um, things that uh, are generally more difficult for um, for people to kind of get. There are people that can do hands really well. It took me many years to get to where I am with my comfort level with my hands. So the early hands were very, uh, very much cheater. I put things, um, hands in pockets a lot, and it was just a good way to avoid doing hands altogether. But we're going to avoid doing the feet this time, and we will do foliage and we'll do grass around the legs as it is done and as it was in this reference photo. So 
I'm going to come around this left side of the face and down and through the neck to uh, on the side. And if you see in the reference, it kind of comes around like this. We're not going to worry about that too much. That's just a color variance. But I'm going to include that in my line drawing just so that I can see where things are a little bit more easily. So um, you don't have to include this as it's not going to be um, um, something that we um, are going, these aren't going to be like spots on the deer. It's just where we can, so that we can see where the um, shadows are and where things are darker and lighter. So around, even around the eyes, like it gets light around the eyes. So I'm going to go through and make a um, line here so that I know that when I go to do my sketch on the canvas that um, this is going to be a lighter section. And then actually this neck kind of comes around here. There's like a shoulder blade from the rear um, front leg. I don't know how to say it. The, the hind, not hind because that would be back. The, this leg right here, this shoulder comes up over here and then this one comes down around here. We can't see this one as well, but this is the outline for that leg, um, that leg's top part. And then it just curves kind of up and to the left and then flattens out. There's a little hint of a tail and I'm going to super exaggerate that because I want to show more of a tail. And then it comes down kind of straight. And then we get a little bit of a curve in and a curve out for that back leg. And I'm going to leave as little of that leg as possible because I'm going to have it really hidden by the foliage. And then this even comes up a little bit where that use this this the top of this hind leg as a guide for where your muscle structure is. But this is really where it ends and then or it, the top of it. And I'm going to use that where my for my belly. I'm actually going to come back to this front and do this this foreleg here so that I have I know where the, the back of it is before I do the stomach. And then same thing here we're going to do kind of cover the um, the bottom of the leg with the foliage so I'm not too concerned with I think there's I made it it fits the paper pretty well and it will fit the canvas pretty well that I don't have to um, add here. You get a sense that their feet are probably a little lower, but because the grass is is going to be covering and I will kind of cover them a little bit more um, when we get into painting, but we just, we get a sense of where things are, even though they're hidden makes any sense at all. Okay, so I, now that I've done this front leg, I'm going to connect these two legs with this stomach area here. And so it kind of curves down and around, and then it gets a little flat, like there's a flat diagonal line there. And then we are going to, I'm going to make this a little bit longer back leg here. I'm going to end it about there. And then this leg that's hiding back here, there will be some foliage covering it, um, similarly to the way that it's, it's happening in this reference photo. And you can kind of take your own liberties with the, the foliage. You don't have to have it be as, um, it can be as realistic or as cartoony or um, as you want it to be. You can do um, flowers or grasses or you can do it 
exactly as it is in this picture or you can add whatever you want. You can have it going through a town here. It's a giant deer coming through or um, whatever. We will figure that out. Right now, um, we're kind of at a place where it looks like a deer. It looks similarly to the reference photo. It has um, this, you'll see that this in the um, reference is a little bit darker. So when we go and we mix our colors and we're, we're getting um, the colors right, we'll go through and we'll find the, um, the shadows and the, where the light are. Um, so um, we don't really have to worry about that too much right now. But you have a base of, and some knowledge of what you're going to do on, on the canvas. And um, this is a really good beginner um, stage. I do this a lot with um, my students um, when I go to draw my um, my paintings. I do it directly on the canvas, but if I'm not feeling confident about it at first, I will go through and I will um, I will do sketches and sometimes it's directly on the canvas so that I don't have to um, kind of gauge it for the size. So this is um, standard paper size. I will be doing my deer on an 11 by 14 canvas. So if I wanted to, I can even make it this size or I can do it in the way that is um, kind of more uh, canvas ratio, if you kind of get my drift, it's like, I will probably try to do it around the size of the paper so that um, every anyone who wants to can um, can use their, their sketch as a, um, as a, what is the word I'm looking for? A relief, I guess. Um, a transfer. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a transfer of your image onto canvas in another video. Um, but this is at the beginning for our painting and we will be doing the painting in the next video. Much love.